race five was sponsored by Perpetua House and we've got these lovely children standing with us all with special needs and Perpetua House does a fabulous job for these wonderful children. The horse was that ran, won the race was Bulgarian in fine style for Justin Snaith and Justin is with me now. Justin, you must be thrilled with that. Your day wasn't going so well. You haven't really had a lot of luck in running but he looked absolutely fantastic in the parade ring and he's come home really well. Yeah, look, we've had a very unlucky day to be honest. Uh, Linda Lovelace was very unfortunate. She had her head in the other starting stalls when the, when the starter pulled which is just unlucky and uh, um, certainly cost her um, any chance of, of winning. Uh, very nice horse. It's only had one gallop. Uh, in all that time that he's had a break, I, I gave him one easy gallop, but uh, he's just been a horse I've always been impressed with. And uh, we, we specifically put him away uh, for the winter and we've brought him out and, and uh, to beat uh, the second horse, who's a very gallant horse. Um, uh, very happy and, and really well done to Alec and Gillian. And, you know, they're very patient. They, they love their horses. They breed them themselves. It makes it very special. So really well done to them. Yeah, two smart individuals, the first two home. A lot to get excited about. And I must say, there was something about your horse in the parade ring. He looked fresh. He looked well. He, he's had a sort of bright and sparkle about him. Uh, he's just... I, I just hope we've done the right thing. So far, it looks like it. Uh, as I said, he is a horse that I think is is quite up there with some of the top horses in South Africa. Whether he's um, you know at the level of winning a Group One, I'm not sure yet. Those are very hard to to pick up. But he's a horse maybe for like the the July next year. He's the type of horse that will be earmarking. Best of luck, super horse. We've got a nice uh, bottle for you to take for Alec and Gillian or yourself uh, from Caroline Greaves from the Perpetua House. Doesn't she do a fantastic job with these beautiful children here? Coming through is Richard Faree. Don't run away, Caroline. I'm going to have a chat with you now. Richard, great ride. Uh, as I was saying to Justin, you haven't had a lucky day so far. Things haven't been going right. But uh, you got this big boy home nicely. And, and uh, what a race. The, the first two home looked to be smart horses. Yeah, um, very much so. Uh, yeah, it's that I begin and say finish. And uh, with this was. I think uh, a little bit of luck there when Magic Mark uh, made his move around the bend. Just picked up the speed a little bit. Um, but, you know, he was always coming into this race, still needing it, and uh, he won the race, you know. So uh, a lot of a lot of uh, prospect, yeah. We've always liked him. He's just making us wait for him. Um, but I think he's finally arrived now. He looked an absolute picture today, and he looks like he's quite a nice individual, and, uh, nice and calm, and, and got a nice temperament about him. Yeah, I think early in his day, you know, he could work, um, work himself up, but... Uh, over this last couple of months, he's really matured, settled down nicely. Um, Justin's just given him a chance to mature and grow into something better and stronger. Um, you know, he, he's, he's showing it now. He's come on nicely. It wasn't a hot race, but uh, all he could do is win, and he did it in a good style. Hopefully the luck's changed for the big one, the next race coming up. Well done to you, Richard Toprad. Thank you very much, and a special thank, uh, thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Foster and to the whole Snake team. Well done. Well done. Well done to Richard, well done to Justin with Bulgarian. He won in fine style race five, number one Bulgarian and number seven silver operator looks to be two very, very nice horses indeed. Now I'd like to speak to Caroline Greaves from Perpetua House. Firstly, thank you very much for sponsoring this race and, and it's not the first time you sponsored it, is it? No, it's actually the fifth race, the fifth race that we've had at Kenilworth and we're just going from strength to strength and thank you to Kenilworth for the opportunity. Well, you do a wonderful job at Perpetua House and all these beautiful girls standing behind me. You look after children with all different sorts of special needs. Yes, we do. We've got a range of children from the age of 12 to about 20 with a range of intellectual disabilities from cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, autistic spectrum disorder and those with learning difficulties. You're doing a fantastic job and they look like they're all enjoying the day's racing. Are you enjoying it, girls? Yes. yes. Good day's <laughs> racing. Have you back to winner? Yes. yes. Good, excellent. Well, it's absolutely smashing to have you on course, and it's we desperately need people sponsoring horse racing, so it's wonderful to have you part of the team and being here at Kenilworth Races. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. It's always great to have sponsors in racing. That's what we need, and this is a particularly lovely sponsor with Perpetua House and these beautiful children standing with us today. We're all in line, ready to go, 1,600 metres, gates are back, off and racing, a perfect beginning. Silver Operator landed running, he pushes forward early on, Chatu Chak has gone up handy too, Bulgarian down at the fence is right in touch with the leaders, they're not going that hard in the early stages, just in behind these, Clouded Hill, Meraki's a neck back racing outside of that, Magic Mike, and waiting for rain, content to bide his time at the back of the field, six or seven lengths off the lead. The race down towards the 1200 meter mark and Silver Operator has the lead, he has it by a length. Belgarian is racing back in second, half back outside of him, Chattachak is in third. 
They're being followed then by Clouded Hill, who settles in that fourth placing, and Nekaway Meraki keeps that one company. Magic Mike is racing back one from last, and on his outside is Waiting for Rain, who is the back marker, and six lengths would cover them. No change in the order. It's still Silver Operator through the 800. He dictates the gallop. Belgarian basing second at the fence. Now on the outside, Magic Mike has decided the pace is too slow. He's gone around horses and looped them on the outside and gone up to join the leaders. Through the 600 meter mark they go. Silver Operator joined in front by Magic Mike on the outside. Chattuchak and Belgarian will corner just in behind their leading group. Meraki in behind that. Clouded Hill behind that one. And Waiting for Rain is still the trailer. In line for home now, they have just over 3.50 left to the line, and Silver Operator still has the lead along the inside to Magic Mike. Now Belgarian sets out after the leader. Silver Operator has a useful advantage. Belgarian is chasing hard behind that. Nothing really else matters at this stage. Silver Operator still rolls in front. Belgarian doing all he can on the outside. He's coming back strongly in the closing stages. Belgarian gets up to win it. On the inside, Silver Operator second. Clouded Hill, Chattachak in behind that, waiting for rain. Meraki and Magic Mike. Silver Operator in front, but he'd been doing the hard way. Belgarian is going to cut him down in the closing stages. Obviously, a four-year-old taking on a newly turned three-year-old. The advantage with the top weight, Belgarian. And he draws off to win race number five. Seven, Silver Operator, a big effort from him back in second. They'd pull many, many lengths clear of the third horse. That'll be number three, Clouded Hill. Chattuchak, number five, will get that fourth placing just ahead of Waiting for Rain, Meraki and Magic Mike. Head on view, Silver Operator, the Red Sleeves, horse number seven, is in front. Now tackled in the center of the course, the gold cap, the Red Sleeves of horse number one, Belgarian. And it's going to be the one who prevails in a driving finish.